biggest thing we tell our kids is that it's just not smart to get jarred in the head and have symptoms of a concussion and not tell anybody. You're only hurting yourself. This game is here now, but 10, 15 years down the road, this game's going to be gone from us. Of course, we like to compete, but we also need to have our brains for a long time. I think this positive public awareness has helped players be more willing to accept a concussion. Um, before, as if you got hit in the head and maybe you got your bell rung, as they used to say, they were more apt to just continuing on and trying to fight through this injury. Now I think the guys are more apt to give us the, the real good true history and help us treat them better. A concussion is this blow to the head. Now what happens is the brain, which is a soft tissue, basically it's the consistency of mayonnaise. It moves around with that blow. And what happens is it stretches and it strains the tissue in there. You may not even fall down. You may not be unconscious and still get a concussion. I think a lot of people think that a big hit is what causes concussions, but sometimes it can be from a small hit. You get hit kind of in a weird angle and it kind of catches you off guard. What we are trying to do on a national level now is to really prepare parents and coaches to look for two things. Number one is a blow to the head or to the body that jerks the head. Number two, look to see is there something that is not right about that youngster. Are they performing poorly? Are they acting differently? Nice job. Good. Very good. The baseline test is something you take before the season starts, before you have any hits, and it's a series of questions and images you look at. When you get jarred in the head or you feel you have symptoms of a concussion, you retake the test. And that'll tell us if you don't do very well on that test, obviously there's still something going on in your head and you have an issue. So we'll keep you out of play until you can pass that test. And one thing we try to tell our kids here is you need to let us know about a concussion when it occurs. You need to come out of the game, you need to get evaluated, because when people really get hurt is when they have a concussion after they already have one. So they stay in the game, they're a little dizzy, they have some symptoms, but they don't tell anybody. And that's what we're trying to work on to educate people about. The reality in youth sports is that you don't have doctors on the sidelines. And so what we're trying to do is to, to, as best we can, level the playing field so that the people who are on site with kids at those youth sports events are prepared should this injury occur. At the end of the day, it's all about the kids. If you're in this job as a coach, it's about the kids, it's not about your wins and losses. It's not about winning the championship. It's about the experience they have, and there's always a little bit of a risk when you play a contact sport, and we want to make that game as safe as possible.